السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. The clown or investigator Islam made a video to present a sick trial to refute me. The clown makes use of the ignorance of people about Islam and also about Christianity to discredit Islam. But did I not tell the clown that Islam is unbreakable? I let you watch the first part of Shaizat Muhammad's aunt refuting investigator Islam's so called so called rebuttal. I know what ants mean. According to the Quran, the ants are Muslims. And the ants, they are the one who did hear the King Salmon coming over from more than 20 miles away, which is proven in science to be, to be false because, uh, you know, ants do not hear and they, can, they cannot hear even. They don't have hearing. Can you just show me where it is written in the Quran that the ants hear? This is the verse you were talking about, right? Tell when they read the value of the ants, and ants exclaimed, O oh, ants, enter your dwellings, lest Solomon and his armies crush you unperceiving. Can you show me where it is written? Can you show me where, where you see the word here? Ants from 20 miles? Jesus, he said to the blind man, See, he saw. He said to the one in this area, He woke, and he woke. He, even he ordered the dead man to come out of the grave, and he's alive. This is not true. Jesus didn't do that with his own power, but it was the Father who gave him this power. One second, please. John 5 3. Jesus said, By myself I can do nothing, nothing, nothing. For I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. He also said that Jesus said to the blind man, See and he saw. But that's not true. It did not work at first trial. Mark 8, 20, 25 When he had spit on the man's eyes and put his hands on him, Jesus asked, Do you see anything? The man looked up and said, I see people that look like trees. So now the people look like trees and you come to tell us that he said to the man, See and he saw. But that's not true. That's not true. It did not work at first trial. It worked afterwards. Once more Jesus put his hands on the man's eyes. Then his eyes were opened. His, his sight was restored and he, was, and he saw everything clearly. Perhaps you can make a video and explain to us why it didn't work at first trial. There was no network. Maybe Jesus could not call the Father and the Holy Spirit. And you're saying that Allah said to Muhammad read, but he could not read. You have already been refuted by other Muslims concerning this matter. I don't want to repeat the answer. They explained to you that it is not, that it is not like that. I don't want to repeat the answer. Moreover, Jesus was ignorant. You were talking of him as if he was all-knowing, but he was ignorant. He only knew what the Father taught him. Matthew 21:18-19. Early in the morning, as he, Jesus, was on his way back to the city, he was hungry. Uh, excuse me? He was what? He was hungry? The God was hungry? Is that the God you were talking about? Do you want us to believe in a hungry God? Anyway, seeing fig tree, oh, this is food. Seeing fig tree by the road, he went up to it, but found nothing on it except leaves. So Jesus was ignorant. He only knew what the Father taught him. Is that the God you want, you want us to believe in? A hungry and ignorant God? Listen, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. God taught him what scientists discover nowadays by highly advanced technology. Now we see scientists converting to Islam because they saw that these scientific facts were already mentioned in the Quran, a book that appeared 14 centuries ago. And this is what, what makes Prophet Muhammad for me and for those who use their intellect. This is what makes him a true prophet. I just let you burn yourself by watching Keith El Moore. Keith El Moore who is a professor in the Division of Anatomy Department of Surgery 
former chair of anatomy and associate dean for basic medical sciences, faculty of medicine, University of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He's going to testify now. It has been a great pleasure for me to help clarify statements in the Quran about human development. It is clear to me that these statements must have come to Muhammad from God or Allah because almost all of this knowledge was not discovered, uh, discovered until many centuries later. This proves to me that Muhammad must have been a messenger of God or Allah. And if you want to burn yourself more, just go to the following video on YouTube to watch nine Western scientists who also testify. And perhaps you can... This is uh, the video. And perhaps you can make a video response where you can give an answer to this, to this university professors. You can maybe tell them, me, investigate Islam, who lives in the United States of America but cannot read the word aunt correctly I just wanted to tell you that you know nothing about anatomy, astronomy, astrophysics, etc. Jesus is Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord. The women she never said so. The women she never said so and he is going to tell you now that this is about a woman she is having sex with her husband and she is asking if she should wash after that. Did I say that? Did I say that the woman came to ask whether she should she should wash after having sexual intercourse with her husband? <coughs> Liar. You're a bad boy. The listeners thank God the listeners can go back to my video and check that I said the following. Now, the woman in the hadith that this lie occurred simply asked, as she asked the Prophet whether the woman should also take a bath if she had nocturnal sexual discharge. Just to... He said, Ihtalamat, Ihtalamat. Let's go to Sahar Dictionary on the internet. Dictionary.sakhr.com and let's go to English Arabic Dictionary and I'm gonna type the word he pronounced, Ihtalamat. Ihtalamat. And I press search and we read here the verb Ihtalama, which means to have a wet dream. To have a wet dream. Haraja and Naum. So I said that the woman asked about nocturnal sexual emission, which means a wet dream. I never said that she came to ask about sexual intercourse with the husband. So not only you're a liar, but a big silly liar. Because you think that people will not go and check, but they will go and check, inshallah, and they will make sure you're a big liar, inshallah. <laughs> 